So recently, YouTube announced that they are on the verge of getting rid of the classic creator studio. And my first impression, kind of a knee jerk reaction and what many people may experience is, hey, they can't do that. It's missing a particular feature. In my case, I was worried about being able to schedule live streams. So then I decided rather than just assume it's not there, maybe it's time that I dig in and find out exactly how to schedule live streams through the new YouTube studio. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to schedule live stream events using the new YouTube studio. YouTube Simplify. All right, so first thing, we have to go to YouTube, obviously, then we're gonna jump into YouTube Studio. When I first came into YouTube Studio, tried to figure this out intuitively, I went to the side menu over here and I'm like, eh, there's not really anything over there that uh, says schedule a live stream. So I'm like, okay, well, what do they actually provide to us in terms of live streams? And we have this little icon up here in the right hand corner. So if we click on the go live option, it's going to bring us to this new wizard to set up a live stream. And this is actually where they've consolidated the schedule event uh, functionality. So we'll see here, you have the opportunity to create a title. Uh, by default, you're gonna get the YouTube upload defaults here. Now, I assume in the near future, we're going to also be able to use the TubeBuddy upload defaults uh, for which I use for my e live stream event so I can switch it to my TubeBuddy or my TubeBuddy upload default to my live stream version and it's going to populate all of this info in my description but for now I've copied it to to just put it uh, in here as well and my live streams are Q&A we're going to put that in there as well and then you'll notice down here right here it says schedule for later when we click that that gives us the opportunity to pick a date and time for our next live stream so as you may or may not know we do live streams on creator fundamentals every wednesday 8 p.m eastern so we click on the next wednesday here click the 19th and we're going to set that to our normal 8 p.m eastern time and then you have the opportunity to enable monetization, et cetera, and determine whether or not your content is made for kids. We'll leave that the way that it is. And then we'll click on create stream. Now this brings us into this interface here, uh, content streaming software to start preview. Okay, so we don't expect that to be showing anything because we're not gonna do this one for a while. Then we have the opportunity to select the type of key. Now I do a reoccurring key that is for my Wednesday live stream. So I will select that and it pre-fills all that. Obviously we're gonna keep that masked because we don't want uh, uh, that exposed uh, and then stream latency we have your normal latency low latency ultra low latency I typically stream at the normal latency and then we have some other options here that you're going to be able to see and experience in this new interface for your live streams that kind of gives you uh, all the stuff you want to look at on the same screen and to be perfectly honest I have not used this particular interface before but uh, no time like my next live stream to take advantage of this but it was a very streamlined process now the one thing that does not jump out at me uh, is what it's intending to use as the thumbnail for the live stream that I have just scheduled now we look at the different tabs here these are things I think that are going to be relevant when we actually when we're actually going into uh, the live stream itself and this is actually a feature that I noticed on another live stream which I think is kind of cool you actually have the ability to pick one of your products and you can actually pin it in the live stream I've seen it it actually appears at the top of the chat which I thought was kind of an interesting um, a, an interesting feature but the one thing that does jump out at me and I'm not sure what their intended resolution for that is let's see what we got over here live stream settings we'll click on that uh, details monetization I think this is just to tweak everything so uh, allow embedded video contains promotion etc whether monetization's on and off, and some settings relating to the chat. So that's all pretty straightforward stuff. You got your stream health indicators in here, viewer activity, your analytics, which will be meaningful when you've actually live streamed. But again, nothing in this interface 
that allows you to set the thumbnail for the actual live stream. So now that this is scheduled, let's go back and see exactly how it displays it to us or for us in the interface. So we've got uh, up here, upcoming. So in this case, uh, really interesting because what it did was pre-fill the the thumbnail with my actual channel art, which is typically what it does. Uh, but the question is now, how do you go in? If we go on edit title and description, no option for for a new thumbnail there. Now I know the, another place that we can go to check on the thumbnail, but I'm just curious if they're making it available to us anywhere in here, which I'm not seeing. So now if we go all the way back to studio and we go to videos and we go on live, we're going to see our scheduled live streams at the top. Um, and if we go in and click edit, I know we're going to have an option to add a thumbnail in here because this is of course where you would normally add a thumbnail, but it does feel like this is a little bit out of sorts, uh, a little bit of a manual process to kind of backtrack to be able to change your thumbnail. So I'm not sure what their plan is there. If you, uh, if I overlooked where you can add the thumbnail while you're actually creating that uh, live stream event in YouTube studio, definitely let me know in the comments because I certainly didn't see it, but here we can certainly click on upload thumbnail and we can go in to our, our content here and find a thumbnail for the actual live stream here. So that will work, which is this is one we've used in the past. And then click save. And then that's going to pop that up as our thumbnail. But interesting note, they also didn't give you any opportunity to add tags to that scheduled live stream. So it is kind of interesting to see how they've actually uh, given us that functionality. Um, and I don't think everything's quite as streamlined as it could be, but let me know in the comments what you think of this process. It was pretty straightforward. It was really only a couple clicks because a lot of the stuff you might normally set for your events wasn't really in there. And we kind of had to come back and do it a different way. But I really want to know what you guys think uh, in the comments below, but that's all there is to it to be able to schedule an event in the new YouTube studio. And, uh, Hey, if you want to continue to learn how to simplify YouTube, definitely click on this playlist that contains more YouTube feature tutorials. So you can continue to simplify YouTube and grow your brand and audience here on the platform. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.